I'm Jenny, and this is my sister Heather. We're from Spork Foods, and we wrote a cookbook called Spork Fed, which we're gonna make a recipe from today. Yeah, we're gonna make a pistachio pesto over brown rice using a couple of great ingredients we got in the bulk bin. So we're gonna make a really great, easy dish that you can make either over brown rice or pasta or quinoa, so we'll get started. We're gonna start with using some roasted garlic. You squeeze the cloves of garlic out and they're very smooth and pliable. All you have to do is spread it out with the blade of your knife. So you just use the flat side and just go ahead and spread it out. So once nice. it's really smooth, you can just add it right to your food processor where we're gonna go ahead and make our pistachio pesto. The next ingredient we're gonna add is some miso paste. We're using this in place of Parmesan cheese, which is traditionally used in a pesto. Yeah, it has all the saltiness and the creaminess of a cheese, but it's just a vegan version. We're gonna throw in some olive oil for some body. Any olive oil that's extra virgin cold pressed will be perfect. But we wanna add some zing to this recipe, so we're gonna use the juice of a fresh lemon. And the way that we cut a lemon is just around the core. So you wanna get these pieces so you make a cut off center. And you get pieces that won't have any seeds, hopefully. Fingers crossed. You never really know, but this is the goal. There's between two and four tablespoons of lemon juice in a lemon. So when you're looking at a recipe and you're thinking about quantity, you can think of it that way. Next, we're gonna add our pistachios into our pesto. Pesto is usually traditionally made with pine nuts, but we like pistachios for that extra green color. We're gonna throw in some sea salt that we've stored properly from the bulk bin mm -hmm. and labeled properly, of course. So we're just gonna use a half a teaspoon of this. You always wanna make sure to grind your black pepper yourself because the flavor is gonna be much more pronounced. Our last ingredient for our pesto is our beautiful basil. You can vary this dish up by using half basil, half arugula if you want it to be a little spicier. Or if you're trying to get your Vite K, we would recommend throwing in half a bunch of spinach. So all we have to do now is snap on the lid and blend it up. So all you want is to blend this for about 30 seconds or so until it's really uniform and creamy. So now for the fun part, we're gonna incorporate our pesto and our brown rice. We like to hold our finger in the blade so that nothing falls out. And then we can just go ahead and put all of that pesto, even if it looks like a lot, go to town. Just incorporate this mixture before you throw in your added goodies. For a little more flavor, we add some Kalmata olives that we sliced to make sure nobody gets a pit. We went ahead and halved our cherry tomatoes. Those go in as well. You can also use sun-dried tomatoes as an alternative to our regular tomatoes. We love this recipe because it's quick and easy, delicious, and it uses so many of our bulk items. We hope you enjoy.